Well, welcome back. It is almost time to slip on your hat and raise your mint julep. We have officially entered Kentucky Derby weekend. That's right. For one horse, the road to the Derby went through northern Kentucky with a key win in Florence. WLWT News 5's Danielle Dingdack joins us from Turfway Park Racing and Gaming, where horses take the track to train. Hundreds of horses train here in Florence year round, but as you know, tomorrow is Derby Day and two contenders are no stranger to this track behind me. But I want to tell you about one endlessly because it was crowned champion of the Jeff Ruby Stakes late last month, and now it'll take part in the 150th Kentucky Derby. We see him here training and running all year long with his jockey and his trainer. So it was pretty, pretty phenomenal and we're very excited for him. And, and I think that he might, uh, I think he might win the Derby. Ahead of that, Jeff Ruby stakes went endlessly and his jockey spent endless time training here at Turfway Park in Florence. They are one of many tandems that make this place their training ground. Another horse, West Saratoga, is the only gray horse in the Derby, and it also made its hay here on the track. Up to a thousand horses that we that we host back here and these um, completely revamped um, with the with the remodel of Turfway Park Racing and Gaming completely revamped our um, area out here for our horses and our horsemen alike. Now I did have the chance to check in with West Saratoga in endlessly. Now I can tell you that those teams are already down at Churchill Downs and they're ready to run for the roses. Now if you do want to have a chance to cheer them on, don't worry, you don't have to go all the way down here. You can just come here to Turfway Park. There will be a party tomorrow for Derby Day and there will be something for the entire family to enjoy. As far as West Saratoga and endlessly go, they'll be running at post 13 and 14. We'll have much more information about them over on our website, WLWT.com. In Florence, Danielle Zindak, WLWT News 5.